for walking a little bit, Scooby. Exciting gameplay. <coughs> this does get better, but... Cubby, how's it going? What's world record? I think it's like, uh, oh crap, hang on a minute. I think it's like 19 something, if I had to guess. Actually, no, let me take it back. <clears throat> I think it's 28 something. I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, go to the cafe, push the, yeah, okay. Acid. Okay. And then click the cabinet. He got stuck, so I couldn't. Pot of water. The fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Use the shovel with the snowman. Uh, 
and then use the key with the lock. Okay, take the crowbar, take the gloves, take the weed killer, take the frozen bell, shovel, and then crowbar on the doors. I am using notes for this game, because I can't memorize all this. Alright. Use the crumpled note with the rack. Click the locker. <clears throat> take the extension cord, and then take the screwdriver at the bottom. Take the heater. Take the scissors. And then we're heading back up to the gardener's room. No, 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 whoops. <clears throat> Not a big deal, that's okay. Okay, take the book. Uh, use the work gloves. What's the poison oak? Take the bed spring. And take the air freshener. All of this is stuff I need for later. Go to the hallway. Yeah, go to the go through the dumb waiter. How dare you call the waiter dumb? Use the frozen bell with the microwave. Or I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah use the frozen bell. And then use the microwave. And then click it and take the cowbell. the screwdriver with the vent cover. That sucks. That's too high. Use the empty chili can with the termites. Alright, go to the cafe. cord with outlet. Use the heater with extension. <clears throat> Use poison oak on the bear. When I did play this game, this was the goal for the race I was in, was to get the bear to scratch himself. <clears throat> that was the goal, so I would have been done right now. But we're doing the whole game. Which I will confess is actually more fun. Okay, go across the river. Okay, use the pole three times. the scissors on the rope. <laughs> and then take the rope. And then take the doll, I almost forgot. And go outside left. 
bed spring and then take a Christmas light got it all right uh, go to the lobby use the cowbell uh, give the doll to what to the bellhop and then take the goblet that they give you. <clears throat> go to the basement, go to the mine, take the three wheels. Use air freshener. Yeah, go to the maze. Alright, use... Maze is the same every time, but you need to have the light for it. Almost done with this campaign. <clears throat> and then we'll reset the console and start up Haha -ha Carnival. Switch. 
And then use the medallion on the hook and then go through the text. I think that's, yeah, that's it, okay. Alright, moving on to the next campaign. This one is shorter than the other. Well, it should be. It depends on how bumper cars goes. <laughs> Almost world record pace. World record's not the goal, but I guess that's kind of cool. can take the bandages go to the funhouse hall of mirrors you don't want to go too far otherwise they're gonna scare you out of here you gotta do this first all right take the spark plug Have it, yeah. <clears throat> and then go to the boathouse. Use the spark plug. And then open the bottle. Go to the back lot. Click the ladder to the bungee jump. the bungee harness and take the bucket. That was pretty fast. Alright. <clears throat> what? Ladder? <laughs> I was like, did they remove it? the bucket with the faucet. Could not find it for some Take the taffy, go back to the back lot. turn the game just down just a little bit. I feel like it was a little too loud. If it's not, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. The guy in the window scarfing down the taffy. I know. Okay. Also, I would have never figured this game out if I was a kid and I had this. What the hell? Okay. Alright. 
click the valve. All right, use the magnet with the treasure. Also, I really do like the animation that they used for uh, the uh, the magnet earlier, that 3D model. I actually thought that looked pretty good. That's where most of this game's budget went to, I think. But that's fine. It's a Scooby-Doo game, like, come on. <laughs> All right. Choose the third question. And then take the head. going to bumper cars this is gonna this is actually something that's not just point and click this is actually gonna this this is the biggest time variance in this entire run for all the runners it's this point I would imagine at least all right Part about this that sucks is the fact that you can like barely see like where they're gonna be. You kind of just have to guess where he might be going. Okay, that honestly wasn't too bad. Honestly, that wasn't bad. Okay. I actually don't know. Right, go back to the office and take the rubber stamp. <clears throat> Alright, go to the game tent. <clears throat> Use tokens with the crane game. missed. Luckily you can just keep trying until you get it, but still that kind of sucks that it didn't happen. There we go. Not a big deal, just annoying. Back to the 
front lot. Alright, time for this really annoying part. It's annoying just because it wastes time, but you have to do it. giving him the boots. Probably lost the sub 30, it's okay. So this might just barely do it, I don't know. In any case, this game is over. This game's done now, we're already done. However, there's, there's a lot of text here, so I have no idea what time we're gonna get. Let's 
is gonna be close. Oh my gosh, you cannot make that up. You cannot make that up. Oh man. That was insane. Thanks for the GG. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue on that last bit there. See, that was a 1538 on Blake's Hotel. Haha, ha, Carnival was 1348. Okay. That's not too bad. That's honestly not too bad. <clears throat> I'm pretty content with that. Sweet. Thanks for the jeej. for the credits to roll and then uh thank you for playing <coughs> oh god 